That's pretty that neat, touchy. eh? Yes. That's amazing. It's like transporting me suddenly from here to some other planet in some faraway galaxy. Hi, I'm Jason Legg. I'm Derek Van Ginkel. And we're the creators of East of the Rockies. It was a really collaborative process right from the beginning, working with Joy Kagawa on a completely original story. Obviously, she made her name uh, writing about Japanese-Canadian internment camps. And I think she was excited to try to tell a new story in a different medium, especially in an interactive augmented reality context. We're working on the story. I tell them about Japanese Canadian internment camps. I tell them about the book Obasan. I tell them about Joy. Uh, and then it just started to like come together really, really rapidly for us. Hi. Hey, Hello. Hi. Uh, so this is our crew. Uh, that's Yui, who's playing Yukiko. Hi. Uh, and Alex. Al Alex? Hi, Alex. Yeah, they're both actors here in Toronto. So. Uh-huh. Wonderful. It's so great. What are we ready to do? Do we want to show her how the whole thing works? Sure. Well, essentially, the story is about uh, what happened to Japanese Canadians, and specifically one family who were living in Vancouver during the beginning of World War II and moved into Slocan to the internment camps, and then when that was over, into southern Alberta. And it's essentially what happened to that family. We are talking about Canadian citizens who were treated as enemies of Canada because there was a war. And so we lost sight of the reality of human beings who are identifiable. So this story is able to tell that, that we don't necessarily make enemies out of people who are not enemies to start with. Uh, and we can all do that in our different kinds of ways. It's taken on like this kind of like second life and dual meeting as kind of like a way, I hope, for people to talk about what's happening in the society today and what we have the ability to influence and stand for. And I think it's really important to be able to do a work that will transform somebody's experience of life so that if they're able to feel something that is in the production, the art, the story, the whatever it is that's there, and if that enters them in some way, enables them to feel something, then that will change them. If you don't feel it, I don't think you will be changed. I feel unbelievably lucky, unbelievably blessed to be able to have these connections with youth um, what a gift. I mean, it's, it's very exciting. It just fills my life up. So I'm so happy to be able to do this, to be a part of it. We have a choice. And I think this particular technology is not the enemy. Here it is being our friend, guiding us, telling our stories, and uh, connecting us. Mm -hmm.